Good evening, boxing fans, and we have got quite a show in line for you tonight here. Uh, it should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, thank you for tuning in. My name is Steve Tower, and this is our Friday Night Fights featuring the Medfield Kid uh, using the Career Campaign Guide for Legends of Boxing. So last time on the show, the kid finally was able to earn a title shot for the New England Regional Heavyweight Championship. Uh, he had a uh, an up-and-down night. He lost one match by decision uh, and then came back with a TKO victory, uh, or rather a uh, knockout victory. Uh, so tonight... It'll be the Battle of Medfield, Mayhem and Medfield, uh, as he will be taking on the reigning New England champion, Peter McNeely. So which which Medfield kid is going to come out on top? Well, let's find out tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Looks like we got a good crowd here tonight. Uh, we are honored, as always, uh, to have the, uh, the designer of Legends of Boxing, joining us here uh everybody welcome uh, gary brown is here in the room so if you do have any questions about this game uh please feel free to put them in uh, the chat room uh, and he'll be happy to help you out there uh this campaign guide is available right now for purchase uh, so if you'd like what you've been seeing and you want to start your own medfield kid campaign uh it is available to purchase right now uh, and really just a fantastic expansion uh, for this game is really Kind of transformed <laughs> uh, how I think about this game. So, uh, all right. So here we are. We are at Reputation 20 now, uh, which in the regional division means we are eligible to challenge for a title. Uh, and what's interesting is uh, if we win by a TKO or a knockout, uh, it will be a... Um, oh, and I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Uh, if we win by uh, by TKO or knockout, uh, because it's a title fight, uh, we'd gain five reputation points, uh, which would be enough for us to move up uh, to the national level. So a lot on the line tonight uh, for the title and for uh, the kids' <laughs> reputation in uh, the boxing world. All right, so uh, I decided that I would just pick my opponent, so we will not be rolling for one tonight. So there he is, Peter McNeely will be our opponent. So we will skip the the normal uh, choosing of a opponent and we'll go right to the training camp. All right, so we are in the seasoned part of our career. Uh, so let's see what happens here. 66, that is probably going to be, oh, well, no, let's see. I thought it was gonna be business as usual, but uh, it's going to be Strategic Insight, so we will have two additional mode overrides for our match tonight. Uh, and this will be an eight-round match rather than our normal six rounds, uh, because in the regional level, uh, a title fight will be eight rounds. All right, so we will, oop, we will have uh, two... Uh, for a total of three for our fight. All right. So we are all set to go now. I pre-filled the card. That was one nice thing about knowing who the opponent was going to be is that I didn't have to um, <laughs> worry about um, filling out the card beforehand. So, all right, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest uh, is being overseen by the Massachusetts Boxing Association and is being held here in Medfield, Massachusetts, the Mayhem in Medfield. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the gray trunks with the blue trim. Weighing in at 225 pounds with a career record. Oh, what is my career record? <laughs> what what am I now? Uh we are we are nine and three with a career record of nine and three with seven wins by knockout. He is the midfield kid and fighting out of the red corner. 
Also hailing from Medfield, Massachusetts, weighing in tonight at 222 pounds, he is the reigning New England heavyweight champion, Peter Hurricane McNeely. All right, so we are ready to go. And it looks like my screen just <laughs> stopped connecting. Oh boy, I don't know why this is happening. The program that I use to, um, this happened on my last show, the, uh, the program that I use to put my iPad up just every once in a while, it just decides to randomly stop working. So hold on and I will get that right back up so you guys can see the scorecard as we go through the fight. I always say technology is great, except when it's not. <laughs> So, all right, we should be all set now. And, all right, and we're back. Okay. And now I gotta adjust the size. Someday I'm gonna figure out why it does that to me. But for now, okay. We are all set to go, so uh, Peter McNeely, uh, he will start out in the pressure mode. That is, that is his M.O. Um, he likes to come out fast and furious and try to put the fight away quickly. Uh, we are going to start in our outside mode. We had a choice uh, between outside um, and inside because we use, we have the same range. But we're going to start on the outside and uh, see if we can maybe uh, have <laughs> have him wear down. Um, we do have the endurance advantage. Oh, boy, and this is... Oh, God, when that starts over again, then it, it resets the size of the screen. There we go. Okay. So, um, we definitely have the advantage in control. Uh, our defense is the same. Our power is the same at four. Uh, I'm a much more durable. He has a slight chin advantage, uh, two to one. Cut ratings are even. Uh, his willpower a little bit higher than ours, five to four, uh, but we have a TKO advantage, four to five. Uh, he is known as a dirty fighter. Um, and Oh, and I put inside on the sheet, didn't I? Oh, thanks, Kevin. Um, <laughs> I thought that I was going to... Let's see... Uh oh, I had this all worked out beforehand. That's what I do for putting things ahead of time. Uh, let's see, because the control of two to seven is twelve to eight. Um, did I decide? All right, I will. I will change that. You know what? I think I am going to go on inside. That's right. I I figured out because our endurance advantage uh, is, uh, or he has a slight endurance advantage, but um. Oh, no, 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 I do. I just can't read my own handwriting because it's so sloppy. There we go. Okay. We have the endurance advantage of 11 to 16. That's what I was deciding. Okay. Normally, if, if the endurance is even uh, or if the opponent has the advantage, I'll start on the outside. But we're going to take it to him. So uh, the advanced uh, control, he'll be at 10 uh, for being in pressure, and I will be at 7. So... Uh, will this go the full eight rounds? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, he is going to get exhausted early. He will be fatigued early if he stays in pressure mode. But let's see what happens. All right. So here we go. McNeely versus the Medfield Kid for the New England Regional Heavyweight Championship. There is the bell. And we are underway. All right. And it is going to be the kid. In con oh, boy. Look at this. <laughs> The kid in control. It's going to be a scoring punch, a combo to the head of McNeely, and that is going to be a knockdown check. All right, so his chin is only a two. This could be, oh, <laughs> and we rolled double zeros. Oh, no. Oh, how about that? Wow. Could have rolled anything else on that 10-sided. All right, so McNeely takes it. 
Uh, so it'll just be a two-pointer. All right, let's see. Uh, McNeely in control this time, but we are going to defend. Uh, so McNeely is going to hit a one-point combination, uh, but the kid's going to find an opening, and he is going to counter. Oh, boy, and another chin check. He's going to counter uh, with a combination or with an uppercut, and we are going right back to that chin roll. And, oh, boy, look at that, a 97. Oh, but that's, well, that's going to be a three-pointer. All right, so a three-point counter uppercut. So we will be in control this next segment. He does get to roll his defense. Uh, it's going to be his another scoring punch. Boy, the kid taking it to the champion. There is a one-point combo and a cut chance on McNeely. He will pass that, so no cut. Let's see, this is going to be split action. Pressure versus inside is going to be a brawl. And I think this is going to be a foul check on him. A Oh no, a two, it's a clash of heads. So a, a cut check for both fighters. All right, so we both have a three. Uh, McNeely, he rolls a two, so he will be cut. Uh-oh. So both fighters going toe-to-toe -to -toe right in the middle of the ring. And both heads collide. Uh, so McNeely is going to have minor swelling on his right eye. And the kid, he will be okay. He comes out of that exchange none the worse for wear. All right. Uh, let's see. So that was a uh, clash of heads. So no, no punch points, but... McNeely now with some swelling on his eye. The kid in control again. Goes to the body. A two-point uppercut. And let's see. What's that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. Boy, the, the ref might might stop this one early. Or maybe McNeely's trainer will stop it early. Uh, the kid in control. A scoring punch. A one-point cross. And that will be another cut check. Uh, McNeely passes that. Uh-oh. Let's see. This will be more split action. 28 on the brawl. That's going to be a clinch. Boy, so <laughs> McNeely probably holding on for his life. Uh-oh, he wasn't ready for this. Uh, well, he's in control here. This will be a scoring punch. A 13. So he'll finally find some range. Uh, and gets a two-point combination. And let's see. This will be... This will be McNeely again. Uh, 67. He'll get a one-point uppercut in at the bell. Wow. So he avoids the TKO. Uh, ends up with, what, one, two, three, four points. And the kid, I think, is going to get nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, boy. He needed one more <laughs> punch point. Um, wow. Okay. So a great first round for the kid. Woo. Given the people here in Medfield, there's their money's worth. Uh, let's see. So McNeely lost that round. So his corner uh, tells him, oh, well, he's going to stay in the pressure mode. Uh, he will get a TKO point. So he will lose five endurance points. So he's down to six. Uh, his defense will stay at one. His control target number stays at ten. And we might as well stay inside. Boy, that seemed to be working. Uh, we will lose three endurance points. So we are down to 13. All right, here we go. So the champ, his eye is starting to swell. And he took some poundings. Really got lucky on a couple of those uh, blows that um, <laughs> uh, McNeely's chin somehow held up. I guess uh, the kid did not connect cleanly but whew, oh boy all right so here we go round number two let's see what happens this is going to be uh mcneely in control and it will be a scoring punch a uh, ooh, a big two-point uppercut from the champ hurricane mcneely uh but the kid back in control uh this will be defended however uh he'll go to a body head combo but mcneely able to get his his gloves in the way a little bit McNeely back in control, a scoring punch. Let's see, 12. Uh, that'll be a two-point combo. 
So the the champ, he's not going down easy. Uh, but here we go. Midfield kid back in control. A scoring punch. Uh, an eight. So the kid going back to the body. Let's see. This will be mixed or split action. And a four is going to be an accidental headbutt, but both fighters, okay, all right, so nothing happens there, referee separates them, everybody's okay, we go back to the action, the kid in control, scoring punch, working on the body of the champ, it's another uppercut, let's see, this will be, uh, oh, this is going to be split action, the difference is three between them, all right, so split action 29. That is going to be a clinch. Referee pulls him apart. Waves him back in. The kid in control. Let's see, 22. Oh, a big hook to the body for two points. And the last segment of round two. This will be McNeely in control, and he will hit a uppercut that doesn't quite catch the kid flush, but... And there is the bell, the end of round two. Let's see, the champ came out swinging two, four, uh, five punch points for him. And for the challenger, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so an even round for punch points. All right, so let's see, the champion is going to, well, he's going to stay in pressure mode. That's his M.O. All right, so he will lose another four endurance points. He's already down to two endurance points. His control target number will stay at 10, however. Uh, and for the kid, let's see, my corner, well, they say to stay inside, and I'm going to agree with them because that does seem to be working. Uh, we will lose three endurance, so we are down to 10 all right, so, all right, here we go. Uh, this is round number three, and the champ is going to be fatigued at the end of this round, no matter what happens. And, uh, oh boy, that is going to be interesting. All right, so here we go. Let's get through round three. Uh, it's looking like the challenger has the advantage so far. So let's see what happens. This is going to be McNeely in control, a scoring punch, uh, a big two-point hook from the champ. Catches catches the kid flush. Uh, McNeely staying in control. Connects with an uppercut. The kid is able to kind of get out of the way. Uh, the kid in control, but McNeely is going to have his gloves up. Uh, and that will be a hook to the body. Really working the body here, trying to trying to gas the champ. Let's see, the kid in control, a scoring punch. Oh, just not quite enough uh, to get a knockdown chance uh, with that combo, but it will connect for two. Let's see, can the kid put him away here in round three? Well, this is the champ back in control, a scoring punch, uh, and a nice straight punch from the champ. Gets the kid flush on the chin. The kid back in control. Uh, oh, but McNeely is going to block. And then sees an opening to counter. And, and comes back with a two-point double hook. Wow. McNeely doing a little counter wrestling. Uh, let's see. He will be in control again here. A scoring punch. Uh, a one-point combination. This is the best sequence so far for McNeely, uh, but that goes away quickly. The kid back in control, working on the body again, a big two-point combination. And the last segment, the kid in control, uh, and another uppercut to the body as the bell rings. McNeely will walk back to his corner. Uh, let's see, he got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... So we will get our first TKO points. And we got two, three, four, five, six. So McNeely will get his second TKO point halfway there. All right, so uh, the champ 
won the round. Uh, however, he is going to be fatigued. Uh, let's see. So he is going to lose five endurance points. So he will be at negative three. So his base control target number now is 13. And his defense uh, will be minus one. It's, it's already one. Uh, so if he stays in the pressure, um, it will be down to zero. And his power goes from four to three. All right, so let's see. Will he stay in the pressure mode? And his corner tells him to stay in pressure. All right. So now uh, he will have an 11. And his defense will indeed be zero. They're telling him to go all out. All right. And for us, we lost four endurance points. So we're down to six. And our corner says to stay inside. And I like that. Yeah, let's stay inside. So our target number stays at seven. And our defense still at one. And our power still at four. All right, here we go. Round number four. We're halfway through. And uh, if you if you were looking for a good heavyweight brawl, <laughs> we've certainly got it. Um, so the champion is gassed now. Uh, what the, uh, let's see how that affects him. He'll have no defense. Um, as he's going to have a hard time keeping the gloves up. Uh, let's see what happens here. Round number four. It's kind of, it's an even match, I guess, so far. We'll see what the judges think if it goes to the distance. But um, right now, I'm not sure who would be in control. All right, so this is going to be split action. Uh, 45, both fighters. Juking and moving. Feeling each other out. Uh, there we go. The kid in control. A big hook to the body. Ooh. You could hear that back in the fifth row. This will be split action again. Uh, and it will be an even exchange as uh, both fighters toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring. The kid back in control. Uh, sticking with the hook. And that connects on the champion. Let's see, this will be split action again. Another even exchange. Neither fighter backing down right in the center of the ring. Uh, let's see, this is going to be... That's going to be McNeely, but it's going to be defended. Uh, 59. Oh, so that's going to be countered. The kid blocks. Throws a counter punch. And, oh, that is going to connect for a big two-pointer. And another potential cut on the champion, but no. All right. Uh, ooh, McNeely back in control, though. And this will be a scoring punch, uh, but just a one-point hook. One minute left in the round. Uh, let's see. We are up by four, so that's going to be us. Um, a two-point hook to the body. And the last segment of the round is going to be split action. Let's see, 36. That's going to be a juke and move. All right, so that's a good round for the kid. Let's see, McNeely got one, two, three punch points. And the kid got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we just missed the, the single round TKO. All right, so McNeely gets another TKO point. He's at three now, so he will be on TKO watch uh, as he's one below his threshold, and he lost that round by six. All right, so let's see. Uh, he is going to lose five more endurance points, so he will be at negative eight, so he is going to fatigue again. Uh, his chin and willpower now going down by one. Power at three, his chin at one, and willpower at four. Let's see what his corner tells him. He is going to stay in that pressure mode. So, again, he will have zero for his defense. And his control target number will stay at 11. 
uh, for the kid. Uh, we're going to stay in our inside mode. That seems to be working for us. Our endurance is going to go down three more. So we are at three. Uh, so we will be fatigued for this next round. Our defense still at one. Power at four. Chin at one. And willpower at four. All right, here we go. Round number five of this eight round scheduled fight. Oh boy. And uh, <laughs> if you were looking for the sweet science, uh, we do not have that for you tonight. This is this is two brawlers just going head to head. Um, all right, so here we go. Round number five, the champ trying to hold on. And you got to think at this point, his corner is telling him that he needs a knockout to win. So here we go. Uh, and he is on TKO watch. So if we get up by six punch points, the ref is going to call it. So he is uh, he is keeping an eye. McNeely looking worse for wear right now. Here we go. There's the bell. Round five underway. And this will be the kid in control. A scoring punch. A one point hook. That seems to be working for him tonight. Kid back in control. Uh, Two-point uppercut to the body. And McNeil, or <laughs> McNeely felt that. Kid still in control. Let's see. 36, a two-point cross. Uh-oh. The crowd sensing it. The crowd on their feet. The kid in control. That's going to be a scoring punch, a two-point uppercut to the body, and the ref is going to come in. He has seen enough. He is going to call it. And ladies and gentlemen, at 118 in round number five, being declared a winner by TKO, and your new New England Regional Heavyweight champion, the Medfield Kid. All right. There we go. Um, awesome. The Kid wins his first title. And, oh, boy, what a match that was. I think that has been the, the most brutal match that I've seen <laughs> on it. All right. Oh, we did it, Adrian. Um <laughs> All right. Celebrations all around. Cheers to everybody. All right. Uh, let's see. So, go back to our journal. And we win by TKO. And that means that our reputation is going to increase by five. Uh, so, we are now at the national level. Our reputation is now up to 25. All right, and we have our first title belt. Awesome. Awesome sauce. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, what was the purse? Uh, <laughs> about $225, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I think the purse would maybe be uh, like a 12-pack of Sam Adams or something. Um, <laughs> or, or Zealous. Uh, if, if anybody's from the area, that, that's our local beer here. Um, all right, so uh, development checks. Let's see if the kid gets anything. And no, oh, that would have been cool if he did. Uh, and this was our fifth fight for uh, the seasoned stage. So a chance we will move up there. And no, so we're gonna stay there. All right, so no development. There we go. All right, so uh, next week we will have our first well, I don't know. I guess we'll see if we're um, if we're in our um, if we're going to do a title defense or not. Because um, now we've we've uh, we've moved up to the national level. So if we do do a um, a title fight, um, it will be against a lower ranked opponent. Uh, so it won't be as much. It'll be a lower competition. Um, so it won't be worth as much for our reputation, but I, I feel like we'll maybe have to defend it once and then, and then we'll drop it depending on how we go up. But, uh, but there we go, guys, that's going to do it for now. Uh, the kid, your new 
champion of the uh, New England <laughs> region. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, so uh, we're moving on up uh, to the national level. So I'll have to find a suitable national champion. Um, I, I kind of like the idea of of uh, peppering in real boxers into this world to use as champions. So I'll probably do that for the national level, but we're, we're going to be quite a ways from that. We need to get up to reputation uh, 40 to get a national title shot. But for now, we're going to soak it in. We're going to enjoy this title fight, uh, this uh, this win, and thought we were going to get a knockout, I read. <laughs> but uh, but we'll take the TKO stoppage. And actually, that was a... That was a a uh, very much a uh, a Peter McNeely fight. <laughs> I, I watched a couple of videos of uh, of his fights getting ready for this week, and uh, oh boy, what a what a career <laughs> he had. Um, and uh, a, a, I don't know, a unique style of fighting, I guess, is the best way to say it. So, but anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for now. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for all your support. Uh, glad that you guys have been enjoying this um, this segment. I have to say, after the first show that I did of this, I really thought that I was going to um, <laughs> have to stop and redo a new character. But I'm glad we kept with it, and uh, you never know what's going to happen with uh, with this game. And so, uh, if you have not picked this up yet, and you're at all interested in boxing, I cannot recommend it enough. It is so much fun. Uh, really adds just this whole new element to the game, and uh, it's it's really the only way that I like to play the game now. Uh, so um, so there we go, guys. That's going to do it for now. I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Uh, I will be back on Monday night uh, with more Fernando Mania, uh, and then I'm not sure. I'm going to do some show on Wednesday, but I'm not sure what that is. It might be something um, something that I haven't done in a while, but we'll see. Uh, and then we'll be back next Friday with more Medfield Kid. Uh, now the reigning national, uh, or the, the reigning regional New England champion. So there we go, guys. Um, all right. Please, everybody, stay safe, wear a mask. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.